everybody welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days apologies for my workstation I'm doing a lot of videos in one day <laughs> anyway the resin I'm going to be using is craft resin which is one part hardener to one part resin I have mixed some gold leaf into my resin that's already poured exhibit a break a bit off put it in there uh, Swirl it around and it'll break up evenly. And I've also got the Colour Cottage Super Sparkling White. That's already in there. The two colours I am going to be using for these are Deep Purple and White, which is Colour Me Happy. So let's get on with this because my resin is starting to warm up. All right. I'm going to start with adding a little bit of the clear there. And there. And I'm going to rinse that. Rinse roll that all over because it's nice to get some special effects at the bottom and you can get that just by adding your clear you only need a tiny little bit but it does create some natural effects itself my molds themselves are clean they're a bit dirty underneath from when i last used them but times against me to get everything pretty <laughs> will not compromise my work though all right let me start by adding some purple. Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you, Monica, for making beautiful pigment. Same again over here. I'll put the link to all products in my description. Coming in with some white now. And I'm going to push that back with some clear. These ones, I'm not going to drag my brush through the end like I did with the black one because I want to see what different effects I get, she said, but I probably will. Push back with a clear a little bit more. Let me see where we are from a level point of view. Okay, so they're almost domed, which is good. So Very light. Now, do I want to blow these? No, but I am going to do three swipes this way. So I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to come back the other way. So you can also see I can count to three now. Oh, that didn't work. I have to go this way. 
three. I'm just going to go around with my skewer. Just check there's no air bubbles. Brilliant. Making sure I'm not scraping the bottom. And then we're going to torch and we're going to see what it, it does. So I love the effects I've been getting with some of these and I'm just testing my knowledge or the boundaries or seeing the different effects I can get. But what I will do is bring you in and show you. So this is what this looks up close up. Let's see if that's going to stay like that. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to unmold these coasters and I'm hoping that there's going to be something special under here. Past couple of coasters I've done, I really enjoyed, but they've not been what I was expected. So, but I am learning along the way. Let's demold these and let's have a little look. That vibrant purple is just stunning. So the resin I used was um, craft resin. Yeah, craft resin and the pigments I use was the uh, Colour Me Happy and the mould are from Let's Resin. I'm going to try not to have a look underneath. Now, I've been having problems with my white taking over. So from the back, they're really interesting still. From the side, you're starting to see that suspended gold leaf and pattern. And the glitter now let's flip it over and again the white has taken over however there's enough purple showing through let's have a look and enough lacing that it's added a little bit of depth and the interest is at the back there you can still see those layers i would have loved more of this uh, purple to show through so Next time, Sharon, less is more and don't layer any white on top of it because this falls to the bottom, which, if you learn how to control, is going to give you some magical effects. But I love them. I love that gold there and the wispiness of that lacing that's come out. I think is just winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. On to mold two, Sharon. <laughs> let's do this. The temptation is to flip to the other side, but uh, let's just review the edges first. I would imagine that the underneath is going to be pretty much similar to number two. Beautiful resins, though. Right around the edge. Pretty similar. Look at those nice little effects there. That gold, deep purple. Oh, sorry, that's some resin there. And we're going to flip it and reveal. Oh, look at those effects. It's like crackling. I just love it because with each time I explore with these, it's like the resin and the pigments are giving me a gift of surprise. And hopefully it's a surprise and delight. But look at that there. Little bubble there. I don't know if you can see them just there, but that's okay. They're gonna so you can actually stand these as pieces of art. You could frame them on a board or something like that, or you can stand them independently on these tiny little easels. But let me bring you in and show you closer. Oh, I made that shake. I'm so sorry. Let me stop that. All right. like the gold leaf through but again i wish i had left the gold leaf but it has got that distribution and that gold against that purple see that nice sparkle there in the purple and i do love the transparency here how it seeps through and then even that there 
it's sort of feathered. There doesn't appear to be as much lacing in this one, like on that one you can see the ribbon and the lacing where it's going out. But on this one, a little bit more purples come through on that white. And the backs. So, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Make sure you pop back and see me and let me know what do you think of these. I just think absolutely stunning. It would be nice though just to see a curler with just a tiny little bit of white. So, but these are unique, one of a kind. Loving. I'll try and bring you in for a close-up. I think you're getting enough of a close-up here. Even the thick purple you can see through. Just look at that suspended gold leaf. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, come on, Sharon, let's get in for that photo.